Why the hell are you here? You hired me, remember? And you said to get my butt here post taste so Here it is. Why didn't you call? You know me. I like to make an entrance. Yeah, I know you. Dr. Maggie Worth, reporting for pediatric duty. Show me to the sick kids. Not until we have a little talk. In the conference room. Uh -oh. Already looking for privacy. This job might be more fun than I thought. I brought you in here to talk about your job situation. With a closed door. It's private. I remember some private moments we shared together back in the conference room at Southern Regional. That was a long time ago. It doesn't feel like it. Do you miss Memphis? Obviously you missed me. Let's get something straight, all right? General Hospital needed a pediatrician. You're the best one I know. No, oh, shucks. You're here to work. That's all? That's all. So you dragged me in here to lay down the law? Someone has to. Especially since you're armed and dangerous. This? <laughs> Harmless. A new gimmick I came up with. Scaring your patients to death? No, oh, they love it. See, I come at them with this, and their little eyes bulge out. And I show them it's a fake. It makes the row when I'm sticking them with seem like nothing. Yeah, if you haven't already run out of the room screaming. What happened to your sense of humor, Stevie? <sighs> Maybe I don't like people skulking around the hospital in creepy clown outfits on Halloween. Next round, you gave me a way, huh? What were you doing? Just getting the lay of the land. I learned a lot, too. Things are complicated around here. Romantic entanglements, murders. How long have you been hanging around? Long enough to see that this hospital and you need someone like me. Getting a little hot in here for you? <laughs> I'm fine. And I brought you here for GH, not me. So you keep saying. The hospital could really use someone like you. Someone like me? Or me? You are a brilliant diagnostician, Maggie. Your skills are unmatched. Dry compliments. You really know how to flatter a girl. I think you could fit in here. Why do I feel like that's a conditional statement? We have a new chief of staff who has implemented some rules to get this hospital back in order. Oh, and you're worried that I'm going to screw that up. Well, rules haven't always been your strong point. No, sick kids are my strong point. I know. And I know that you have always kept your patients' best interests at heart. Kids, Steve, they're not patients. These are kids who are sick and they are scared. And they count on me to make them feel better. You know, they don't really care much about rules, no matter who is making them. I'm just saying. That you want me on a leash. Doesn't mean you can't be you. Yes, it does. Do you remember Iggy from Memphis? Seven-year-old kid with MD, yeah. No, seven and three quarters. He got so offended if you shorted him even one day. Do you remember what Iggy wanted more than anything? To get better. He wanted to fly. So I cut up a sheet and made him wings. And then you put him in a wheelchair and ran him down the halls of the ICU. Yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can still see those wings just flopping behind him. And the look on his face. I mean, we must have been going about 50 by the time we hit that ramp and we were just airborne. And in that moment, Iggy was flying. Yeah, until a few seconds later, you flipped the wheelchair and you were both crashing oh, to the floor. He was fine and it was worth it. His mom almost sued all of us. That same mom just sent me a letter last week. She said that Iggy was so afraid that the angels wouldn't come for him because he was, um, different. And then when he was flying in that chair, he saw the angel in himself. He wasn't scared anymore. Did he? Yeah. Iggy graduated high school last May. Valedictorian, and he's not stopping there. Pilot school? Georgia Tech. Aeronautical engineering. What you did was risky, Maggie. You're lecturing me about risky? I'm sure you'd like to sweep what happened in Memphis into the bedpan. But I can't. Hey, am I interrupting? No, come on in. When Steve brought me in here, I thought he, um... Well, it didn't matter what I thought. He just wanted to chat. Hey, Steve. Hey. <laughs> this is, uh, Maggie Worth. Maggie, this is my, uh, Olivia. You're Olivia? Yeah, that's right, I'm his Olivia, and he's <laughs> my Steve. We're not big on labels, are we? No, we aren't. 
Mm, so that's why I didn't hear about his Olivia. But we are very close. Yeah, you know what? It looks like this is a bad time. I will, uh, I'll catch up with you later. No, 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 you stay. I'll see you in the halls. I can take you to the HR. No, I'm good. I'm gonna give myself a tour of the hospital without the clown outfit this time. See you soon. Great to meet you, Steve, Olivia. You too. Well, <laughs> she seems interesting. Uh, yeah, I can think of a few other things uh, to call her, but uh, she is the best at what she does. Which is what? Pediatrics. Ah, she works here. No, not yet, not officially. Oh, so she's interviewing with Robin? She already has the job, based on my recommendation. Yours? I worked with Maggie in Memphis. You don't say. So, you're here to see a doctor? Uh, yeah, you, as a matter of fact. You're okay? I'm fine. Elizabeth's I'm fine. kids are okay? Yeah, they're fine. They're with uh, Lulu. You were great with them. No, I was a disaster. I, but I love kids. I do. I don't ever worry about that. Oh, okay. I just thought that maybe since you spent your whole morning on, uh, on kid duty, maybe you could use a little bit of grown-up time. Huh? I like the sound of that. I'm good, because mm -hmm. one of my assistant managers got a great job at a great new hotel with a fantastic blues club, and she hooked me up with a free night. I thought mm -hmm. maybe we could go check it out. You and I in the big city? Yeah, I'll show you around the old neighborhood tomorrow. What do you say? It just seems like maybe we could use some time away from... You know, everything that's going on mm, that around here. amazing, but I don't think the cops would appreciate two suspects going away in the middle of an investigation. We're not suspects. We were on the same boat where Lisa got killed. All right, we put the night on hold, I guess. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really would have loved to have gone out, but I just kind of feel like I need to stick around here and help Maggie get situated. You know, and just make sure she doesn't get into trouble on her first day. I think she seems like the kind of girl that can find trouble whether you're mm. going to watch it or not. But I know how to deal with her. I've had plenty of practice. Really? So, just exactly how close were you and uh, Maggie in Memphis? <laughs>